So the Google Pixel 2 and 2 XL just got announced and with it we have Google's latest software and their latest take on the home screen experience. Now, if you're like me and you're feeling a little bit left out, then don't fret because in this video, I'm gonna show you two methods as to how you can achieve the same setup on your own smartphone. So the first method is by downloading and installing an APK from the guys over on the XDA developers website, which of course will be linked below. You just have to make sure you have the unknown sources checked in your device's security settings and also make sure you uninstall any other Google or Pixel launches, otherwise this won't work. So as you can see, after we installed the APK, we have a very Pixel 2 style setup here. We've got the dock with the search bar and row of applications down the bottom. And we also have the weather and date information up the top. On top of that, everything just feels very fluid with this home screen launcher. Opening folders is smooth, app shortcuts work really well. And there's even this small little bounce animation each time you open the app drawer, which is definitely something small, kind of hard to notice, but again, it all just feels very fluid. The biggest drawbacks to using this method is that firstly, it doesn't appear as though the swipe left Google Now page is available. And also the icon pack isn't in line with those round icons you get using a Pixel device. There's also virtually no customization whatsoever. So you're kind of stuck with what you get. So the second method is by using Nova Launcher. Now there's a lot more customization involved with getting this setup looking right, but hopefully you are able to follow along and I will include any supporting links down in the notes below. So firstly, you do obviously need to install Nova Launcher and I always recommend paying those few extra dollars so you can get the prime version, but it isn't essential for making this setup work. So let's run through some basic settings to get right before setting up the actual home screen itself. So the desktop grid I'm using is an eight by five layout. And for the icon layout settings, I like to bring the icon size down to 95%. I've also changed the width padding to medium and the height padding stays as none. Now, if you want Nova's own Google search bar, then you can come in and change the bar style to this rounded one. And then the logo style to this colorful G variant, but also ensure you check this option down the bottom so that your search will appear as overlay rather than full screen. And that will also come into play later on as well. Also come down to this page indicator settings and make sure it is set to none. And that's it for the desktop settings. Under the app and widget draw settings, change the grid size to either four x five or five x five, depending on your preference. Change the app draw style to vertical, turn off the card background and check the swipe to open option. I also change the scroll accent to this teal color and then make sure you have your search bar turned on and then any other settings are up to your own discretion. Coming into our folder settings, make sure you have the preview set to grid and the background set to pixel launcher style. Under look and feel, you need to have installed the pixel icon pack and set that as your icon pack. And then I also like to go to my gestures in input settings and change the swipe up gesture to open the app drawer and the swipe down gesture to expand the notification shape. Under notification badges, change the style to dots and now we're good to go. Okay, so coming back to our homepage, and the first thing we wanna do is clear our entire homepage of widgets and apps because we're gonna be building it from the ground up. So let's do our Google search bar first, and we're gonna do that through using a Zuper widget, and we'll be using one taken from the Pixel 2 Zuper pack. Now, you'll need to purchase Zuper Widget Pro to load all of these templates in, but if you're someone who loves customization, then Zuper Widget Pro is definitely a worthwhile application to have in your arsenal. So we're gonna create a four by one Zuper Widget. It actually really doesn't matter, but we do need to resize it so it fills out to the edges of our screen. Once we've done that, tap on it, and then come in and scroll down to the Pixel 2 Zuper's pack. So once you've tapped on that, scroll down a bit further until you come across the Pixel 2 default widget, tap on that, and then we'll need to scale this up so it's the correct size. I also think that the Google icon is just slightly too big here. So if we tap on our layout settings and then the bitmap, we can scroll down and scale that down ever so slightly. Now by default, the module has been set up so that it triggers a full size Google search page when you tap on it. But if we head into our module on tap settings and scroll over to the shortcuts page and then click on activities, we can actually scroll down to the Google shortcut section and come to the one that ends with dot query entry activity. Tap on that and now for the most part, whenever you tap on that search bar, it will trigger the search as an overlay instead, which is definitely more pixel-esque. Okay, now that we've completed the look and feel of that widget, we're gonna move it down to our dock and that's that. Next for our weather and calendar widget, same process as before, a Zuper widget, resize it so it fills the edges, tap on it, load the Pixel 2 Zuper's pack, and there are several options for you to choose from here, but most likely you'll either want the Pixel 2 Agenda or the Pixel 2 Original. Again, scale this up a bit, not all the way, but maybe to about 80 or so, give or take, and we're good to go. Drag that widget to the top portion of your home screen, and that's pretty much it. If you wanna take this stage further, then you could also change the module on tap for each layer in this widget so that when you tap on the day and date, it opens up the calendar. And when you tap on the weather icon, it opens up the weather. So if you wanna do that, go into Zuper widget and change that yourself. 
From here, we're gonna install the Google Wallpapers application, which I've already done, and feel free to browse to find one that you like the look of, but generally something from the Earth category will look pretty nice. I'm now gonna start loading any apps I want onto my homepage. So I'm gonna start by putting five apps as a bit of a fake dock above the search bar, and then I'll create one folder for some other apps that I'll use regularly. Obviously, this part is entirely up to you depending on what you want to include. Now, we're obviously very close to finish here, but we're gonna add one more widget, and that is this little swipe arrow indicator above the dock. So we'll create a final Zupa widget, one by one is fine. And then we're gonna take an element out of the widget from the free minimal UI Zupa widget pack. So come into that and scroll down a bit until you reach widget number 55. And then we're gonna go into our layout and delete everything but that top arrow. We can then scale it up a bit and then move the X and Y offset so it's centered and positioned at the bottom and then change the widget on tap action so that it opens up the app drawer. Then we reposition it on our home screen so that it's just above our apps and you may need to tweak the Y axis a little bit so it displays correctly. If you wanna then get the Google Now page to the left of the home screen, we just need to install the Nova Launcher Google Companion APK which will enable that feature. And then if you wanna get the Pixel style navigation bar and you're not using a Samsung Galaxy phone, then you can install the Pixel navigation bar application and use that. And that's it, a very Pixel 2 looking and feeling home screen setup which you can still customize as much as you so desire. But that's it. Don't forget to check out the links below so you have everything you need to get going with this setup. If you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful, then a thumbs up would be very much appreciated or a sub would be even better. But that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you later.